Well, it's time for another Ask the Expert segment. When a medical emergency happens, time is precious, and understanding how to intervene in these situations can be the difference between life and death. Here with us today from the American Heart Association is first aid and CPR instructor John Thomas. And John, you go by JT, actually, don't yeah, you? Yeah, everybody in the community uh, know me as JT. That's awesome. Well, welcome to the program. Thank you. Um, tell our viewers a little bit about what you do and uh, what you're an expert on. Um, American Heart Association CPR instructor and BLS, so I teach healthcare providers as well as daycare, uh, churches, um, skills on saving lives and um, getting them equipped, not just with the physical skills, but also deal with them um, for confidence uh, level reasons. Some people don't think that um, they're confident enough or um, they don't, not, not sure, but they, I try to show them everything basic that they can do, that they do in everyday life, that is very important, whether it's um, calming somebody down or, hey, could you help me? I don't know what to do. Um, and so it's confidence builder, get to prepare for the skills, uh, so when they're faced with adversity, they know how to react. And those things come up suddenly. We can never plan for them, but having that foundation, that muscle memory in place is really important. Exactly, and plus um, I have a background in uh, being, a, I used to be a medical assistant and an EMT. Uh, for over 10 years, so I always give people uh, real life scenarios and situations so they can kind of relate and see and most of my classes end up being almost like counseling sessions because they will bring up scenarios and situations that they've done and then I would tell them, um, you know, yes you did, yes you're correct, you did that the right way and blah 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 blah. So you're able to walk people through the gamut of what they, and you've seen a lot I'm sure oh, as yeah. a paramedic, as a first responder. Um, now we do have some questions from our viewers and it is an Ask the Expert segment, so sure. I want to go to the questions now and sure. our first one is from Jacqueline Piercy and you know I've seen these going around the internet and different people are, are trying them, um, but she brings it up and she says I recently bought a de-choker device for my grandkids. Are these actually recommended and effective? Is this something that you're familiar with? Is it something you would recommend? I'm not familiar with it, to be honest. Um, I've heard my students talk about that before, but you know, I'm old school. I love hands-on. Um, hands-on, uh, you're more equipped. Um, you're more um, to get better results. And again, when you are on the phone with 911, just like I'm in the class, just like I'm here talking to you, they'll be talking and helping you guide through it. Like the new thing that came out a couple years ago is that if you're by yourself, um, or are you with a, a bunch of people and they're, you know, panicking and not in control? Call 911 on your cell phone, put it on speaker, and like I'm doing with you on the interview, they'll walk you through it and be there with you. You're never alone. So 911 is always your, your first choice. And I imagine the other issue you have, if you're relying on a device like a de-choker, if you can't find it, that presents a problem if you don't know what to do. And then, you know, and I'm not, it's nothing against technology, but, you know, technology can fail. Yeah. So, but when you got hands on, Everything goes smooth and well. Okay, so call 911 if there's an emergency call choking situation. They'll walk you through it. Um, we have uh, another question from Connie McNamara. Um, is there a refresher course for seniors for first aid? She's thinking about her grandchildren and CPR courses here in Champaign. Um, what would you recommend for folks that are looking for a refresher course? Well, they can call me. Um, <laughs> I travel. I do travel. I travel to Chicago, Kankakee, Springfield, Bloomington. Um, or um, you can look for a training center in your area. Uh, EMS educators, they should be able to supply you with uh, CPR instructors. And then also um, how people get me uh, a lot is um, they get on like Spotted in Champaign or Spotted in Springfield and they can um, ask, hey, recommendations, hey, does anybody know a good CPR instructor and blah, 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 and then they refer them to you. Got it. So go to the internet, look up for CPR instruction near you. They can call you. And uh, for folks that are in the Champaign area, we're going to give you more information on how you can connect with JT. JT, thanks so much for being with us today and offering these tips and uh, offering your advice on our Axie Expert segment. Uh, for more information, go to CILiving.tv.